This video is sponsored by Jowl. What's up guys, it's Max here, back again with another review. This time it's about the Maglev Levitating Globe by Jowl. They are the sponsor of this video. So this is a magnetic levitating globe that sits within a C-shaped base that even lights up. This is the perfect gift to give to a friend or one of your loved ones. It's a great ornament or decoration to have lying around on your desk. Not only is this magnetic levitating globe cool to look at, but it's also educational. You can learn a little bit of geography as well as you can learn about electromagnetic levitation. Let's open up this box and get our hands on this globe. So opening up the box, here we have a little instruction manual on how to get this globe levitating and how to use this device. Also prompts you about not leaving any other electronic devices near this thing as it can uh, affect, let's just say, your computer or cell phone. So uh, you see we got the globe itself here, a charging adapter. This really is just to power the thing up. There's the C-shaped stand. You see right now it won't be able to levitate because it, it's not plugged in back here and then you plug it into your wall. I also brought an extension cord out here so we can test it out. I'll plug it into the extension cord. So now this, plug in to the back of the C-shaped stand. Since I'm out in the daylight, you won't be able to see how the C-shaped stand lights up, but I'll show you later. And it's actually pretty easy to get it to uh, levitate. Getting it in the right position is really easy. Watch as I unplug this thing. Oh, before unplugging it, it's best that you just touch a little so it attracts to the top and then you unplug it. I'm not sure if you can hear this, but see when I'm trying to get it uh, to be centered, you'll hear that little electromagnetic noise. That's probably from that little Hall effect sensor inside. You can also get it spinning by just blowing on one side of the globe. I was pretty impressed with the geographical detail that they put on this globe, and it's also quite glossy. Now let me explain you the science behind how this magnetic levitating globe really works. The upward electromagnetic levitation system you see here has magnetic fields from both a permanent magnet and a current induced solenoid with a metallic core. The electromagnet is pulling the magnet in the globe upwards just enough to balance the Earth's gravity pulling down on it. The two forces are equal and opposite so the globe floats in mid-air until the power supply to the system gets turned off. But to control the electromagnet properly, the device needs a way of accurately sensing the position of the floating globe, so it uses a really small but important component called the Hall Effect Sensor. It notices the tiniest change in position of the globe, so when the globe starts getting too low, it activates the electromagnet to pull it up. When the globe starts getting too high, the sensor turns the electromagnet off and so repeats this cycle over and over at a much higher frequency, creating the needed equilibrium for the globe to float. Another cool thing I noticed about this magnetic levitating globe is that it starts to spin on its own when you just set it to levitate. So on my phone I set a stopwatch to see how long does it take for it to start spinning on its own. So about a minute later it already started spinning up to its full speed. I watched many videos about levitating globes similar to this one I have here, and I noticed how pretty much nobody on video explains how the globe itself rotates without stopping. From all the reddits and other online forums I've read about how other people think it rotates while levitating, I have also come up with my own hypothesis as to why the globe tends to spin, and how it even starts spinning on its own. I believe that the existing magnetic field which keeps the thing levitating also makes it rotate at the same time, because it could be as simple as two alternating magnetic fields with a small 
offset, which create a fluctuating north to south change in the electromagnet's polarity. This globe can rotate both clockwise and counterclockwise from my experimentations, since it really depends on the tiniest initial movement as you set the globe under its platform. And yes, of course, there's air friction happening here at the same time, but the resistance present is not great enough to slow down the globe completely as the alternating magnetic field is stronger than the opposing air friction, so the globe will always spin, as long as the power supply isn't cut off to the system or any of the internal components broken. Here's a few nighttime clips so you can see how it looks like at night. There you have it guys, that is my review of the Magnetic Levitating Globe by Jowl. In this video you not only got to see how cool this thing looks while levitating and spinning around, but you also got to learn a little bit about the electromagnetic side behind this product. Personally, I really like this product. I like the shininess of the globe, how easy it is just to get it levitating, and um, I have this thing sitting around in the living room or even by my workspace somewhere off to the side, so when I'm taking breaks I can look at it, it's really relaxing. I recommend it especially as it comes in at an affordable price. So what you're waiting for guys, buy it now. I've left a link in the description below this video. If you enjoyed this video, I'd much appreciate if you hit it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel with the notification bell ticked not to miss any of my upcoming uploads. If you like magnets or stuff that levitates like this, then you should go check out my Levitron video. Follow me on Instagram at max.imagination. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and I'll catch you another time. Peace! Ah, <laughs> not gonna lie, I kind of flinched there for a second.